So hey guys, so I took these garnishes off. They're holding up pretty good, but I just wanted to do it the right way this time. So I got these clips here. You can get these at any hardware store. If you guys remember, they just slide in like that. And then that's a one mounting point right there. And then the bottom has a hole that uses the same type of clip. Here you can use, I mean, something a little different, but it has to be something that kind of wedges itself in because you can't, can't get to the back side of it. So I'll show you what the bottom will look like. It'll look like that when it's done. So very clean. Um, like I said, the other one actually held up. I just wanted to do it this way so I can get my power drill out and show you guys the way to do it The if you want to do it using the factory um, pins here. Really straightforward. Basically all you're doing is drilling two holes and then pushing the pins in. The hardest one is this one here because you have to measure it where it's going to line up and it kind of goes at an angle so if you do it when you just put it next to it, it's gonna to be too low because it kind of slides up a tad. So I went ahead and put masking tape here. And then I'm just gonna use a, a red marker and mark the tip of the, the pin here and then set it up there and kind of give me an idea where it's gonna sit up. And I'll like triple check this just because, you know, once you drill it, you're kind of committed to it, so. Okay, so. You see here, those are the, all the spots I got. And then this side here was where it lined up. I can kind of peek through it when I had it in place. When I had it on like that, I can kind of peek in there and see where the pin was. So I know that line is exactly where the pin's gonna go through the hole. So then you just wanna make your hole centered in the trunk arm here, center it up. So I'm gonna make it right there and just centered, okay? And then you want to get a drill bit that's pretty close to this size, a, a tad smaller, just so the fins can um, flare out. So here's what I'm going to use. Show you here. You definitely don't want to do one that's too big. Because then you're just going to have to start getting a bigger pin. But if you look here, almost the same size, but the fins stick out a little bit. That's what you want, so you can wedge it in there. And this is, let's see what this is. Upside down there. I think it's a quarter inch. Yeah. So that's what I used. The step up I have is too big for this pin. So you can e always do this. And then as you need it, just slowly round the hole out, make it easier. Okay. So I'm going to drill that out and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys. So there's the hole I drilled. As you can tell, not a big deal since there's already a hole drilled in this car. So now you just set this in. You kind of have to fill where the pin is. It's kind of awkward at first because it goes in like an angle. And then once you got the top in, then you go down below, see where that hole is, mark it, and drill that one out. Okay? So here it is. I'll show you this here. I'll turn the light on here so you can see it. Let's see. Okay. So the top's in. Now the bottom, you can see. Now you can see there's a gap. It doesn't fit flush up here. You'd have to grind the plastic out, but that's okay because the pins I have are long enough to go through and it'll be flush on this and it'll still hold. Okay, so I'll go ahead and drill that out. Okay guys, so here's what it looks like. I drilled this bottom one out, same as the top. This goes in probably a quarter way, but it's really snug. I can't even like take it back off there, it's tight. That's all you need because those little ears expand. So I like this way better. It's super solid. Like I said, if you go to remove it, you'll have to get new pins because it'll probably tear those little fins up too. So I like that. It looks clean. Like I said, the hardest part is measuring that top hole. So let me go ahead and do this part and I'll show you the final product. Okay, guys. So here's what it looks like. Super strong. Like I said, this is the right way to do it. I was just being lazy before. Um, really easy. Anybody can do it. It's just you have to take your time um, measuring the top hole for sure. But it looks really clean. If you look at that, really nice. All looks factory. I can't even pull this off here. I'm pulling as hard as I can. It'd break the pin if I kept pulling. 
If you guys ever use those pins, you know that they're a pain to get out because the way the ears are. So I highly recommend getting those. And it just looks finished. Super strong. You have a point there. It's all you need. So this is actually one of my favorite mods, believe it or not, just because it looks clean. I like it. And you can slam this as hard as you want. It's not coming off. So I'd highly recommend if you guys have a power tool and you're, and you're not afraid to um, drill into the car, very easy to do. Like I said, there's already a hole in the trunk arms anyway from the factory, so you're not going to hurt anything. Just be careful when you do it so you don't slip and um, crack your window when you're drilling until you get the drill to bite. If you slip, it can easily um, hit that back windshield. So be very careful when you do that, guys. So I just wanted to share that with you. So if you guys want to go this route, you can. The other way works fine too. It just um, depends on your um, skill level, what you want to do. See all the metal shavings I need to vacuum up here. But um, overall, easy. It took me about 25 minutes. Okay? So I just wanted to share that with you, give you guys another option for these trunk arm garnishes. And overall, it's very easy to do. Okay, guys, just take your time. Hope you guys like that one. Um, appreciate it. If you haven't, please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, hope everyone's staying safe out there. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody.